this week's vlog. It's Sunday today. I always forget what day it is when I'm saying it's Sunday. Uh, today is different to other Sundays. Normally we're up and I'm telling you that I'm off to my sisters, but today we are not. Uh, I did actually do just a little bit of filming before. It's freaking too hot today to film and it makes such a difference. Like this half of the house, because uh, the sun hasn't really hit it, it's cooler. And then the front of the house, uh, where is like my filming room and the sun beams in there. I, I had the aircon on and I specialized it to just that room. And I was still sweating as I was filming and feeling horrible. So I hope the like recording comes out okay. I just enjoy filming like trying on stuff where I'm sitting and talking to you guys. And then I've tried it on separately. That way I'm not like flustered. Um, but Chip has heard something. My mum might have come home. Uh, yeah, so that's what we did this morning. Now I'm going to probably do a little bit of editing of another video that's going to go up uh, Tuesday. So go do a bit of that. Chip is going to begin to take him outside. So we'll probably do that first. I uh, just said to him, whilst there was no one home, let me quickly film because I just feel more comfortable filming when there's no one home because I feel like then I can project my voice a little bit better without like, you know, my mum trying to listen to what I'm saying in terms of like is she talking to herself like a loony uh because you know um you know I feel like parents to this day and age still kind of don't understand this as like a, a job or something you do like they just think what are you doing like who does who talks to a camera uh you know so anyways <laughs> that's my story so yeah we're gonna go head outside I'll don't know what I'll record today because I don't really have too much on. Uh, but I'll update you guys where I can. It's a Sunday. It's a relaxed day. So we're back and uh, I really didn't get up too much after the filming. I filmed, I did, as I was saying, I did a haul and then I did the try-on portion. Because the weather wasn't too bad like on this end of the house. So I did do the try-on portion. And then literally after that I didn't even edit. Like I was charging you guys. And so then I just caught up on shows that I've been behind. Um, I'm watching um, Punky Brewster on um, Stan. Uh, I, I think I do remember watching it as a kid, but ever so slightly, like I barely remember it. Uh, but I remember the name. I can't really remember too much about it. And like in the show, she refers to things a lot, but I don't. I don't remember it all. So I don't know if I had watched it. The year it came, like the times it came out, or if I watched it, like if they had it on a repeat or something after, I don't remember at all. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm now um, having my dinner. I've just got um, some chicken, some salad, and some carrots. And I didn't buy any chips this week because I actually feel like potatoes as well. But um, since dinner, my mum made me my dinner today. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm just gonna have this and then I feel so chill because, like, it's been nice to just kind of literally just not think all day, watch watch shows and stuff. I mean, do you guys do that? Do you guys have a day like, it's, I guess most people do like on a Sunday where you just kind of chill all day and you put yourself together and then like so Monday you start back in your routine for the week and it was just really nice to have one of those days. Um, I'm probably going to have, I'm feeling, I'm wondering if I have a hair here. Oh jeez, that's very unattractive. I'm going to have to get the tweezers out. <laughs> Um, but maybe I'll do like a self-care day after this. I might put a mask on or something. I'll see how I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, I thought I'll just say hi and bye again. Uh, and I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow where hopefully more interesting stuff is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Stanzi's crafting corner <laughs> hey guys it's Monday morning and usually Mondays is like my resting day but because yesterday I had like a resting Sunday for today I'm gonna be up and at it doing stuff so I did a little bit of work this morning and now I'm thinking of crafting uh, not really crafting remember the sneakers well I'm thinking let's time to try and paint them I mean I'm just using regular paint so it's not like they're gonna last forever or anything but I'm going to try and paint them and then if I don't like them, well, they were heading out the door anyway. If I do, I'll pop them aside and then I can wear them at least a little bit more longer. I mean, they, they were literally out the door, so I was absolutely not wearing them. I was just doing a tidying up of some of my shoes that I had in like my mum's closet downstairs. 
And I was ready to throw stuff and I was like, you know what? Because sometimes I feel like they're that worn that they're not even good for donating because I just feel like if you're going to donate something, it should be in a decent condition at least. Um, whereas they're not, these aren't that bad, but I mean, they're just a Kmart shoe, not the greatest. Um, so in saying that, I do, I do wear my Kmart shoes actually. So, but these ones end up getting better sneakers. So these ones like, um, I said goodbye to them and they're kind of coming out a little bit there, but we are going to paint them nevertheless. And I was just thinking I wanted to do pink, but uh, I do have pink sneakers, so I changed my mind. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do blue, this like nice, like a pastel blue, because I don't have too many things in blue. I was kind of thinking to do red, only because like I have so much red, um, but I'm not a huge fan of red. I mean, they might look okay red, but I'm gonna go with the blue and, you know, if I end up using up all my blue, well then, you know, I've got a darker blue or whatever. It's not like I paint that often. I tend to like hold on to things for a just in case. And then I never like ever use anything. So what my thoughts are, I don't know, I'm thinking just to paint the front there and the side there and then leave the lacy bit white. Because I feel like I should do more blue. Because if I only did that lacy bit blue, then that's like not enough paint. Like, I haven't really done much to it, have I? So I hope I'm choosing the right way. <laughs> but yeah, nevertheless, we are going to just pop the paint on there, stands. Just let it go, do it. Whatever happens, happens. Luckily, I don't know. Well, I guess, you know, some people are actual, like, artists. So they can do it on expensive shoes because they know what they're doing. Stansy is very far from any kind of an artist. Um... There's the blue. So I am going to oh, hopefully, hopefully it turns out. I mean, it should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> so, oh, I was going to say most of this I'll probably fast forward away because if you guys know me, same as when I do my makeup, uh, I kind of need to concentrate when I'm doing stuff, which means I can't talk at the same time. Although, I can drive and talk at the same time. I'm not one of those. You know how there's those people who, as soon as someone starts talking to them and they're driving, like their driving slows down or they stop paying attention to the road. So therefore, like I always pay attention to that and I just stop talking to those people. Uh, I feel like I can do both. Woohoo, Sansi is multitasking at something. But um, otherwise, I don't know. I guess at work I always talked and worked at the same time. I suppose it depends on what it is. It depends on how much precision, precision, that's the word, is required. Uh, although this blue is looking really quite nice, guys. Look at that. Blue. I don't mind it. Too. This is a nice blue. All right, I know I don't have too many um, words in my vocabulary sometimes when I'm talking to you guys. Like, I use nice and cute a lot. <laughs> but in saying cute, young chipster, um, he went downstairs. He wanted to go outside and play. But it was just too hot for me, so I just said to him, like, you play, and then just give me a yell, or give your grandma a shout, like as if he understands, when you're ready, and just, as in, tap on the door, and we'll let you back in. But he was a toddler, and he didn't want to play by himself. He likes, you know, people to watch him play. Uh, but there was no shade for me anywhere, and today's meant to be, like, 30-something degrees, which normally doesn't sound too hot, but feels hot, I'm sweating. The house in the back is getting built over there, so you'll hear random like buzzing sounds, which also scares Chippy. <laughs> the other day, he was like heading straight for my lap, and I'm thinking, what? You're not usually like this. Then I realized it was the buzzing of the like tools. A little munchkin, he's so cute. I mean, it's just a first coat, but I think it's looking pretty cool. What is it, Blue? Focus on that, not on me. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, I am going to paint the other side and then I start on the other shoe and we will come back with um, some more. It's dandy crafting. I just got paint on my top and it was literally just leaning over to turn the camera on. All right, so I've done the blue bit, just one layer. I need it to dry a little bit to do one more layer, but oh, they look pretty cute. But what I'm thinking is, so they're not just blue and white. I'm thinking I might do like this bit here in orange. 
I don't know, I feel like orange will go. It's a little bit like brighter, something different. So we're going to try it and we're going to do orange. So the sneakers are done and this is what they look like. So they have the blue, I've got the orange there and I already put the laces on. I mean, they're not, they're pretty much dry. I wouldn't suggest probably going in the rain with them right now. But, and then so on this side I did a little heart. This side I tried to do a little pull, but I feel like they're cute. Some like at first I was like, mm, I don't know about the orange, but I don't mind. This is not what I envisioned. I was thinking more something pastel like. However, I quite like the brightness of them and they look funky and different. So I think they're cute. I will hold on to them and I may wear them sometime just to like get a bit of colour in my life. good morning to everyone we're saying good morning from our car because it just literally started raining on us it's not even meant to rain today um but so we're just gonna wait it out a little bit chip is getting a bit impatient i can see i'm thinking can't he tell it's raining he hates water um but yeah so we've come for a little walk today and it's not really meant to rain the clouds are moving really fast so i'm thinking i might wait about five minutes even if we have to a little bit sorry mama it's raining and um then we'll probably go for our walk uh we came like our usual walk time hoping to see chippy's bestie so we'll see we will wait out some days when i know it's a rainy day i'll just go home but it's not really meant to rain so because it wasn't raining where i lived it's raining here so it shouldn't be like a rainy anyways how many times have i said the word rainy uh hello it is tuesday today yes it is and uh this is our morning <laughs> So it started raining heavier. Yes, Chippy did, not it? Chippy just, he kept whining. And so I opened the window for him and he got wet and he was like, oops. And we've been here, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes and it's still raining. So I'm probably going to head on home because I just thought it would actually, it's not supposed to be raining, but I don't know. Maybe this part of the beach might rain a bit more, but I think that's it for today, Mama. Sorry. So I'm home now and it actually did stop raining but like literally like 10 minutes ago. Uh, today is the National Be Kind Day and I'm wearing my t-shirt because I thought I have it so I may as well wear it today and keep promoting to be kind all day to everybody. Um, I'm even going to be kind and not be annoyed by those construction happening. Uh, so if you guys hear the banging, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, so it is National Be Kind Day today. I'm wearing my top. I did decide to cut it to be more like Stansy style. So it's more of like a fitted top, which I much prefer. I feel like because I feel like a little bit open here and I just feel like it sits better on me and also I feel better and also like my makeup doesn't get all over it because when I wear a t-shirt, my makeup always gets all over it and I just... I don't know, I always feel a bit restricted, but I think I did a good job in cutting it. I'll insert here a little bit of like the footage of me like cutting it and um, what my plans were. Okay, so I'm going to wear my Be Kind shirt today because it's National Be Kind Day. And you know me, I need to stand the fire. I feel like it comes up a little bit high for me here. I'm just thinking I might just cut like a line down here at first, see if I like that. If I don't, we might play around with it a little bit more. Okay, so I cut the line down the middle, then I tried it on. I still felt like this bit was crowding me. Also, my makeup gets all over that. So I'm going to go across now and try and cut it out a U-shape. Good luck. And I think it turned out pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy wearing it today. I do have on a little bit of makeup. I just thought I'll like freshen my face today, put a bit of makeup, because I did blow dry my hair because I had to like wash it today. Um, but I was meant to get my colour done this week, but my hairdresser, she had to reschedule us for next week. So I feel like this week's going to be one of those weeks where I'm probably going to wear it like up or back or whatever most of the days because I just, the colour, it doesn't look like that nice kind of blonde. It's sort of, I don't know, it needs a, a fresher. But anyways, like, I was going to say small wood problems, <laughs> first row of problems. Um, I did have breakfast. I was just thinking, what am I doing? Oh, I did stop by at the supermarket. I'll just show you a couple of things that I got. I usually, like, I do a few stops in the week, as you guys know. As soon as, like, I run out of stuff, I can always just pop by on my way back from my walks. Uh, so today, I'll just show you a couple of things that I ran out of. Went to Woolies. 
uh, I got my free bag for the week. Got a, just only got two bananas. They didn't really have any green ones, so I'm gonna have to go back for more. Um, I only have one tortilla uh, left, so I had to get a whole new pack. Strawberries. I usually get strawberries. I have to get them again, like in the week, because they don't last that long. Like I don't like. I like them when they're like nice and fresh. Um, I got this to try the Biscoff spread. Mm. Um, I've tried it. Like we're at Diana's house in a few of like dessert sort of stuff, but I have never tried it from the jar. So I thought, why not? It's something that I could eat instead of my Nutella, which I did buy a new Nutella because I literally just finished my Nutella yesterday. So I got a big one kilogram, so it should last me a while now. And between them two, I can like alternate. Um, I like to have it with like this one, and maybe I'll have it with bananas. The Nutella, I like to have it like with strawberries and blueberries. Um, I also got, oh, I got some more taco seasonings, I ended up getting two, and then I got some fruit, I got some plums, an apple, and a couple of nectarines, just didn't know what I was feeling, so I got like a couple of each, and that is it. So I'm putting all my stuff away, and then I thought, you know what, I want to try the Biscoff thing, because I'm probably going to be thinking about it until tonight and I just want to get it out of the way and try it to see if I like it which I probably will I don't see why I won't like it everyone seems to love this stuff but I'm thinking I just I saw it okay does anyone else do that when you just like can't wait till later I'm trying to take off the little silver bits in case it ever needs to go in the microwave I don't think it does but just in case let's be let's be safe looking like this I know most of you have probably tried it oh it's got like a nice biscuity texture excuse me you with the hammer you are in ruining my experience mmm that is nice it does taste like a biscuit mmm like a sweet biscuit that's very nice I don't think it will go with strawberries I feel like it probably has to be like a banana or like another fruit that's not acidic. I'm looking at my bananas now. No, I will have it for dessert later. <laughs> it's kind of getting dark early. I think it's going to rain. Anyway, it's night time. Well, no, it's not really night time. It's about seven. But I had my dinner, so I thought I would do my night time routine. Uh, I won't do it super quick. I just wanted to talk about some of the products. Um, I remember I got this one, the, what is it, Alkira, looks like that. Uh, I do like it as a cleanser. I thought I'll, because it's going to probably be a little bit before I use it up, but for now I do like it. I'm still using it with my little machine in Jiggy, and, um, I don't mind it, I like it. So, for now, it's going well. Let's clean our face, I'm going to do a mask today. Hope it's not too too dark. I feel like I can still see. When I turn on the overhead light, it scares me. So, <laughs> in terms of the way I look with the light. Anyway, I want to do this Dr. Lewin's mask. Let me see there. It is the Eternal Youth 24 Karat Gold Age Defying Face Mask. Let's try it. So it should be gold, right? Cleansed. Uh, I cleansed my face. I toned it. I'm using. I'm still using this toner. That's that one. The Kakadu. Plum one. That one's really good actually. Um, okay, remove the mask, apply the mask, relax and leave the mask. Tack day 15 20 minutes. Alright, let's try this. Oh, message, hold up. Oops, on just sending me. They came back from um, Port Macquarie today. So we had a, we just had a little chat. I'm gonna go do our nails tomorrow. They haven't been done in like nearly a month, but it's about time. So she's got the rest of the week off. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. So oh, it looks goldy on the outside. I always look so nice and scary. Oops, I didn't really pay attention, eh? I don't think it peels off. I think it just goes like that, doesn't it? All right. <laughs> I look like the Terminator. <laughs> These masks are always so interesting to look at. <laughs> Alrighty. Excess on my arms. I'm going to leave this mask on. Watch a little bit of maths and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.
to film this morning i even set the camera up on the tripod and everything and then i literally just walked out the door without telling you guys what i was doing i totally forgot in saying that uh my sister and i she's off the rest of this week when they got back from their little trip so we had to get our nails done so i did mine focus this like pinky sparkly color i was feeling the sparkles this lady that did them this time, she actually did them oval. I think I've ever had my nails like a proper oval. I always say oval and they just do them square. And I don't know, if you're like me, I just take it and I'm like, okay. It's not what I asked for, but that's fine. Um, and they, they feel pointy, but they're good as long as like they last. Because I feel like it was like three and a half weeks, nearly, nearly four since we actually did them. They grew out quite a lot, but I feel like... They were done so well that we could last that long so that would be great like if i was only need to do them like once a month can you imagine like um the money i'd save but also like i wouldn't have to go as often because i really don't enjoy the experience i really dislike it um like they're not careful or anything i just yeah i mean in terms of when they do that they're careful with the mask and that whole situation which is great um i also burnt my finger now look at me like <laughs> I don't even know if you can see, but I burnt my finger this morning as I was trying to like curl my hair. It's not even curly, but um, I was trying to do that where you wipe, put your hair around the wand and my finger touched. And then the worst thing was I get to the nail salon and they want me to dip my fingers into uh, the acetone. And I was like far out. My fingers burnt like just there above. So I popped a band-aid that I thought if I put a band-aid, they'll know that there's like something wrong there. Literally, the band-aid disintegrated into the acetone. It was so funny. Um, but uh, we took it off and everything. It's, it's feeling much better now, so that's fine. I hope it doesn't scar. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we got some pied for lunch. Uh, so I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to change out of this. Do you like my outfit today? I'm wearing this, like, uh, lavender skirt. This pink top. I don't even remember where was the skirt from, in case you guys wanted to know. Pretty little thing. That's <laughs> dancing. Um, and then the top, this one was from Forever New Plus. Curve? No, I think it was a regular Forever New. I don't know. Probably get the bigger size. Uh, the only thing with these things, like, I can squeeze myself into, let me come back, squeeze myself into, like, regular size, like, top end. But literally, like, you kind of have to wear cropish because uh, it doesn't, like, fit around my hips. Like, it wouldn't stay there. It just rolls up. But, so then I just folded it over. That's fine. But the top was so cute. I'm always, like, I look, I still look, even though I'm plus size, I still always have a look in the straight section. You never know what you could try and squeeze yourself into. You just never know. And I'm wearing my headband from Shein. I really love it. It is adorable. I feel like I'm going to get so much to wear out of this one. Uh, that's the outfit of the day. <laughs> Uh, so yes, as I said, I'm going to have lunch and I'm probably going to end the vlog here because I've got to edit all of you guys so I can get it up for either tonight or tomorrow because tomorrow starts the new one and I feel like I didn't really do anything this week so I, once again, I apologise. Why am I wearing my hands around? <laughs> Anyways, I will catch up with you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you.